Definitely, you know, my plan is always to get to my offense. So that's really what I need to focus on. You know, I got a little held up in the first match, but things happen. And, you know, as long as I'm advancing the NCAA tournament, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I mean, you've had a couple tight ones here. Is that what you kind of expected, I mean, at this level? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I got a target on my back. Everybody's coming for me, but, you know, I got to be coming for them. If I wait around and let them hang in the match, you know, that's how I'm going to lose a match. That and that's not how I want to go down. Yeah. That first match, obviously, it looked like you, you had a takedown there with three seconds left. Obviously, they overruled it. What did you think? Um, I mean, I personally didn't think it was a takedown. I had a body lock, and I was going for a takedown with short time left. You know, it was a really controversial situation. I popped my hips, he popped his, and, you know, we ended in a pretty funky position. I really thought we were out of bounds, but I don't really know. You know, my coaches helped me stay calm. I knew it was going to go to overtime, and I knew I could win it there. How nerve-wracking was that? I mean, I, you know, having that be out of your hands while they're looking at a, at a monitor. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's pretty nerve-wracking. <laughs> Regardless, there's only three seconds left on the clock, so if it was a takedown, you know, there wasn't much I'd be able to do to really get the win. But, you know, it wasn't, and I got, I advanced to the pre-quarters. Now I'm in the quarterfinals. Yeah, that, that was, you had a nice scramble in overtime there, and then you were able to hold him down. There was a lot of rolling around. I mean, was, was that... How, you know, was that nerve-wracking, that, that whole sequence? A little bit, but it's something I've been working on with uh, one of the guys I work out with, Stephen Keith. You know, he was a Harvard grad, two-time All-American for Harvard, and he lives out in California now, so I come in with him like once or twice a week and just work top like that crab ride. He's real good there, and I think I owe that one to him. Yeah, I know this is kind of close to your hometown, especially since you know, you're know you wrestling out in California. How, how much does this mean to you to be able to wrestle here? It means a lot. You know, my family doesn't have to travel. Other people, like people other than just my immediate family, like my mom, my sisters, my dad, can come. You know, my aunts and uncles are out here. and I got all my friends supporting me, but no. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, it feels great wrestling on my home turf. Besides, I got fans other than my family, you know, friends and just people that have followed me and love, love Jersey wrestling, you know. And now you're here two seed, even though it's been a little stroll so far. You feel pretty good about getting to that final on Saturday night? Feel pretty good. One match at a time, though. Congrats. Thank you. You faced uh, Zach Earl. You know, that's kind of a match you had at the Junior World Team Trials Wrestle-Off. Did you did that give you some comfort knowing you've already wrestled and got a feel for him a couple times there? Or? Um, not really. I mean, freestyle is totally different. I mean, I definitely out freestyled him there. I turned him a bunch and teched him with that. But, you know, that's not the case here in folk style. It's all more about takedowns. So, you know, I definitely knew what I could get to and what I couldn't. I knew he was gunning for me, especially with what happened over the summer. But, you know, can't let that stuff get to me. Just got to go out there and wrestle my match, and everything will take care of itself. So you've reached the quarterfinals in your first NCAA tournament. What adjustments are you looking to make to get to your offense more as the tournament, you know, gets tougher and tougher, guys? Yeah, you know, I mean, a guy like Zach really is just trying to keep me away. You know, I need to engage a little bit more. and do a better job at that. Me and him have kind of had the same game plan, so it was a little clash of styles there, but I'm confident in my coaches and me with what I can get done this tournament. Thank you.